And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on over there for our next deck, which is going to be Teamer Creatures. This is what we're going to be starting off this beautiful beautiful Sunday afternoon playing. Um, and so this is something new. You may notice that every single card in this deck, main deck and sideboard, every single card is a creature. We're not playing any spells. No spells, only creatures. Um, and uh, and what Moby just said here in chat is is actually kind of what um, what uh, something to be worried about. Yeah, the, the lands are hiding behind this the sideboard because of this weird sideboard thing. But anyway, um, Moby says I tried to make Nikia work, but without but and it was really fun but without access to removal. It's a huge huge disadvantage, and I agree. Um, but that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to make Nikia work here. So Nikia says you cannot cast non-creature spells. So we got all creatures. But whenever we tap a land for mana, we add one mana that it could produce. So every single one of our lands is going to be two mana. So we're going to have a lot of mana, but we can't cast non-creature spells. So the best thing to do with having a lot of mana, I think, is probably Hydrocrasis. Because, you know, when you have lots of mana, use a Hydrocrasis, you get a lot of cards. Simple enough. Um... Removal, we don't have very much. We have Ravager Worm, two of those, and we have Hellkites. And you notice how I have three Hellkites. I think Hellkite could be a, an important card. If we get extra mana with Nikia, Hellkite can maybe be our removal. Hopefully. I don't know. That's uh, um, that's what we're going to kind of see here. Um, so Hellkite and Nikia are both five mana cards. Um, and I think they're going to be pretty important five mana cards. Um, same with Biogenic Ooze, which that's another thing you can do with mana, is make a whole lot of oozes. Um, and so... So because we have all these five mana cards, I'm going to try playing four Elvish Rejuvenators. Because, you know, we don't have other spells, so we need, like, our creatures to kind of do spell-like things. So, like, these... So Rejuvenator is going to be a ramp spell. So it's, like, you know, three mana ramp. Um, that gets us, gets us into our five mana immediately. So that's that's what I'm thinking here. Same thing, if you notice, like our sideboard, for the most part, we have a bunch of spells uh, as creatures. Harpooner, you know, it's a removal against Mono Blue uh, and Drakes, but, you know, it's going to be an important card there. Rex Age to destroy creatures. We have Frilled Mystic as a counter spell. It's a creature. So that'll be important against Control Decks. We have Foragers against the uh, aggro, like Burned, gain a lot of life with our creature. And then we got a couple hard, uh, difficult threats for Control to deal with with Nezahal and Carnage Tyrant. So we'll see how it works out. Teamer creatures. Teamer no spells. And it's Sunday, so that means it's uh, we got weekly packs to get today. So good chance that this doesn't work out, but there's a chance that it does. <clears throat> oh, really, Jelly Tug? Nikio Teamer is the deck you played the most this expansion? Sorry, Hawkeye. Wish I had like a good place to put this mic somewhere. It's just kind of always in the way everywhere. Uh, probably can't hear me if it's up there. My tie bar. I don't want to block Hawkeye behind me over my right shoulder. Yeah, on your left part, left hand side of the screen. Giram, doing really good. Um, give it a try. Um, should have a fun day with, with a couple new decks here. There we go, that's in a good spot. What's our opponent doing over there with just Plains Mountain? You don't see the old Plains Mountain deck too often. Sky Knight Legionnaire. That can actually be some trouble. Well, found all the lands. Sunday stream before the UFC night. Okay, that there we go. Well, 
I have like a two part desk. Like there's like one level here and like one level here. So like that's that's why I have like the you know like that's like another. It's like a two part desk. Um, so I could put it up here, I guess. Lean and war leader. The heck is that thing doing? Definitely considering um, just playing a crisis for two, but we'll go with the branch walker and druid. Uh oh. Yeah, war leader. War leader is pretty tough. Hmm. We had a little too slow of a hand. A little too slow of a hand here. Uh, nothing. Takali Honor Guard does nothing against Riot. Doesn't interact whatsoever. Okay. Okay, did that fix the audio cracking? I don't know, I just tried muting the mic and making sure the connections were set up good. Alright, so that's better. Um, let's get some foragers. And... I'm just going to need to keep a faster hand. Yeah, you know, I was on the draw there. Had a couple tap lands. That was just really too slow. But I kind of like what we have going on. I don't even know if I really want these foragers. I guess I should play them. But it's like... What am I cutting for this top end? Maybe... Hmm. I kind of like these cards, though. I like Ravager, Hellkite, Ooze, Nikia, Krasis. I like all of these cards. But we don't actually need Forgers. Nah. I'm just going to keep a faster hand. We were just way too slow. I like our main deck. All right, let me turn off notifications for this thing. Do not disturb. Okay. Well, we're not necessarily faster, but we actually have land drops. Last time we struggled, um, hit land drops and everything, and this one looks a lot better. Resplendent Angel. Alright, so I do I just play a Phoenix here, or do I start getting Prime Speaker Vanifar in play and get that going? I think I just get this in play. Because the next turn, we can have double Phoenix. 
We can play a Phoenix, sack Rejuvenator for another Phoenix. Yeah, I like double Phoenix for next turn. And then the following turn, we can, like, play a Phoenix and sack it and go get a Hellkite. Or I could even just go get a Hellkite immediately. Or I could go get, go get like, Nikia. I guess we don't need Nikia yet. Hmm. So Hellkite can do... Can only activate once right now. I certainly want to get either Hellkite or Nikia, so I guess Hellkite. And next turn I can sack I can sack a Phoenix and go get go get Nikia, and then we have like all this mana and we can shoot our opponent's creatures down. Okay, going to game three. I don't think only having one color of mana was beneficial to our opponent. So we saw more flyers and even on Sarah's wings for even more flyers. Harpooner seems like something we probably want. Take out a Biogenic Ooze. And a Branch Walker for two Harpooners. Hey, Joe Bag, thanks. Yeah, birthday tomorrow. And so, yeah, we got the birthday stream tomorrow. Twelve hour long stream tomorrow. Nice, good job, Haida. Saying I had a very nice win streak with Grixis in Diamond to Mythic, and the deck felt really good against Soltai. Anyone else playing Grixis? I like this hand. Good fast start. That's what we want. I want to mine another land. In fact, would prefer another land. to shock an incubation druid but not a land or elf All these other spells cost two red, so the only one I can actually play is the Rejuvenator.
Okay, and... Getting our normal, normal thing with this deck. Lots of rekindling phoenixes. I will block one and take the other. If I need to, I can play Hellkite and go get um, Ravager Worm next turn. If I need, really, really need to fight something, I can sacrifice the, Hel the Hellkite. Phoenix, go get... I'm gonna start using where we're at here. And... I wouldn't really mind if my opponent uses removal on ooze, you know, so like, I think we're kind of in a, a safe spot to get that card. This is the sound of settling. Oh, do they have settle? Wow. I walked into that. I sure did. Didn't even cross my mind. I can't sacrifice anything. Would have loved to sacrifice the Phoenix there. Alright, now let's go get Nikia. Which was my plan. I was going to post combat, sack Phoenix to get Nikia without spending mana, and then, you know, play Hellkite and everything. I hope they don't use both red sources. Or I guess I'd just play this thing. We'll see if they have another settle. Nope, not another settle. Good job, Vanifar. Team of Creatures. Starting off with an impressive win over... Uh, Boros Creatures. Yeah, if you like playing creatures and don't really care to do much else, here we go. So we're hoping to draw, you know, one of our one of our acceleration things here. Um, we don't have double green on turn three, so I don't need to worry about double steam vents. Could have a mirror match. Accelerated a, a little late there. I can still play Nikia next turn and then double Rekindling Phoenix, so that's kind of cool. Ooh. 
card's a riot. Nice. I can see you one Phoenix and raise you another. All right, let's draw Hydrocrasis. That's rude. Why are you killing my owls? I like my owls. Huh, that was a really good turn for the opponent. Not a bad one. Hmm. Not a bad turn at all. Six mana. Oh, that's a good card to draw, too. That's a pretty good card to draw. Well. Opponent went over the top. Um, do I want Frilled Mystic? Nah. I think I'm going to be fine. Yeah, I think I'm going to be fine. Just like the first, just like the first match, we lost game one, but we don't need a sideboard. We'll be fine. Just have to draw a little better. I I did scry the Hellkite to the bottom, and we didn't have anything else, and that turned out to kind of hurt us. Because that would be nice to have that Hellkite later on. Get him, Lanamore. Get him. We're kind of playing a mirror match here. Except for their only gruel. Alright, do I play a Krasis for one? Like, do I draw one card with the Krasis here with four mana? Or do I, do I hold on to the Krasis and wait? I think we could just wait. Yep, got got new glasses yesterday. Uh oh, that's a roadblock. If I've ever seen one, can't get through that thing. All right, crisis now or wait longer. Wait longer. So we have six mana right now. This will get us a seventh. Next turn we have Crisis for six. Or just Ravager Worm and eat the Jade Light. Because, yeah, this is only Crisis for four. I want the Crisis to be bigger than Phoenix and also bigger than Lava Coil. I think we're going to go ahead and just eat the... Light, though. Don't have another Phoenix, please. Okay, not another Phoenix. Surprised I didn't play anything else, though. A little surprised. Um, I 
I'm only drawing two cards with the Krasis here. I can wait till like next turn I draw three and it's a seven. Um, but I like I like just using the the mana to draw two. That's a really bad draw two. I have a crushing canopy or whatever a collision. Gross. No one knows the wilds like I do. I was not expecting that attack. Just letting their Vivian die, but I guess they're just gonna they're just gonna try to win the race. I'll be back. Just like before. Well, I cleared off a lot of lands. Not too surprised the second Rejuvenator missed with how many lands we'd already seen. That's kind of unfortunate for us seeing like the four lands and no lands part. All right, let's draw another Krasis, please. Yeah, that cleared a lot of good creatures right there. What balance comes? This is just too many lands. I'm playing 25. So I don't have like infinite lands. Ugh. All right, I guess I should have waited even longer on that crisis. Needed to need to m make it bigger than Six power and toughness because of collision. You're welcome, villain. Alright, one and one with our all creature deck. Gruel creature plus spells beat us. Those spells were really impressive. Lava Coil and Vivian, especially Lava Coil in that first game. Yeah, you just can't get you just can't get super bummed um, when your deck betrays you in a tournament. I know it's hard. I mean, you can kind of a little bit in the moment, but you just have to have to move forward. You know, it happens all the time to everybody. Thanks, Doom Waffle. So yeah, we'll we'll see if the disconnect gets us. It's been it's been pretty bad ever since the update, um, but it wasn't bad yesterday. So we'll see. So looks like a perfectly reasonable hand. Yeah, I guess last game we had we had Landwar Landwar off on turn one, and then our next play was Ravager Worm. We didn't have anything to do in between. That wasn't so good. <laughs> mm. Sometimes you just gotta quench that thirst, you know? Karn's going to be difficult to deal with. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Well 
chosen. Get so much card advantage with that card. You are only hurting yourself. Think these Elvish Rejuvenators have the power of suck. They're so bad the opponent doesn't want to use any removal on them. The choices we make reveal who we are. Please stop. Um So, okay, I was going to say, they've, they've had a lot of counterspells so far. I was going to say, I certainly see them having a counterspell there. And, you know, at least the Krasis draws us some cards. Um, I could see my opponent playing Ral this turn. I think they're probably going to minus and go get Ral. The time has come. Every problem has a solution. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Oh, no, they didn't want to keep the negate? We found something that's better than a gate? How? What could be better than a gate? You are acting unwisely. Am I? Can't really play around sweepers with them having like you know two active planeswalkers. Just gotta put some bodies on the battlefield and just hope they only have one for one removal. That's about all I can do. That's a good sign of them only having one for one removal. Yeah, who really plays sweepers, right? This will aid us. Will it? Better not have fungal infection. All right, we got I Karn out of there. Next time. It's a start. These good old crappy rejuvenators. Getting some work done. Um, take stomping ground. <laughs> These elves are ri rising up. They just let us expand our mana a whole lot, so you know, like we're drawn into these crises somewhere. The search for Hopefully, the we played one crisis so far. We got three more in the deck. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, well, that was unpleasant. Uh. 
Yeah, that was unexpected. Ever mm. seen water burn? You will. No, I, no I don't have fire, any disenchants in no the main deck. Steel. Just want to peek. The weight is killing me. So the, the things I can get right now is I can sack a Rejuvenator to get a Rekindling Phoenix, or I could sacrifice Biogenic Ooze and get um, Ravager Worm. So it certainly seems like sacking Rejuvenator is a better thing to do. Firesock with the support. Thank you so much for subbing with Twitch Prime, Firesock. I really do appreciate that. First sub of the day. Need to play this to be able to double activate dues. All right, so and we just we just have to try to kill Angrath because otherwise Angrath kills us. Ah, I'll have Sucks. You I, w I wish I could have split that up and tried to kill both of them, but, you know, we're at two. Alright, and then down to 90. Here. Thanks, James. Thank you, opponent, for casting that chemistry in insight, so I get to do that. Uh, we're at two little life. Ooh, let's see what we got. Just a little two life points here. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't do anything though. But yeah, they, they could certainly have another Angrath or a Shock, but I can't, I can't do anything about it. They're about to get five two twos. Do they have Menace? Okay, no, they don't have Menace. They're just 2-2s. Two Dang, I kind of need that Prime Speaker Vanifar. I kind of need that. So I could sacrifice the Phoenix and get... got another ooze and, st and made a whole lot more blockers or I could have gone and got uh, a hellkite and start shooting these things down either one of those would have been really nice oh ionize come on rude all right so against control let's bring in the frilled mystics Carnage Tyrants, Nezahals. Um, gonna take out Ravager Worm. D don't know if Vanifar is gonna always work like that. I think we got kind of lucky. I'm not sure about Nikia. We need any Nikia. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? Happy Sunday. It's Sunday fun day today with our all creature deck. Um, I don't think I want Reclamation Sage for captive audience. 
That's of course a a It's of course a risk. Gonna be a calculated risk there. Yeah, they could certainly have some number of rats, but Excel man acceleration is is crucial to me winning. I can't I don't think I can really like sit back and wait until turn turn four and turn five to start playing things. It makes their counter spells a whole lot better. I'm gonna be 33 tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'll keep the land. It's not a red source. Maybe I'll put that to the bottom because I need a second red source for Phoenix and Dragon. I need land for Carney T. There's another red source. Oh yeah, 21 again. That's right, I forgot. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna be 21. Well, I guess now if I draw... I guess I probably should have just played a Hinterland Harbor or something. Because if I draw a Frilled Mystic, I won't be able to play Frilled Mystic because I didn't play a blue so source either of those times. Alright, well, keeping that land on top has not worked out for me. We've only had lands after that. Tyrant can get this done. We have hope. Just no thought erasure. No discard spell for a turn, please. And we have Eldest Reborn protection, thanks to that that ooze. So they don't have the mana for Eldest Reborn yet, though. Good job, Carnage Tyrant. Way to go. Way to go. Um... Hmm... All right, maybe I should play a Rex Age. I'll take out one land wear off on the draw, put a Rex Age in. We'll see if that, if we draw that Rex Age and, and we'll see if we're like, oh man, I wish that was land wear off. Hopefully not. All right, good amount of mana. Rexage! Ugh, it's the land war elf, not the Rexage. Think how good Rexage would have been right here. Would have been great. Alright, so they obviously have a counter spell. Um. Well, 
play underneath that counter spell. See, we're only playing creatures, but our creatures are doing stuff. Quenches a tilt. How they shocked in last time, you know, I was thinking they had a three mana counter spell, which I, I still do think they have a three mana counter spell. Five for Escanta. Sure that last card's a counter spell, unless they were shocking in for Bedevil before. Which I guess could be possible. They could have been shocking in for Bedevil. The good thing about Krasis is even when it gets countered, it still draws you two cards. It did have that three mana counter. So I, I'm playing I'm playing the Krasis out here um, because of Escanta. I don't want them just to be able to sit back and activate Escanta. So that's that's why I was just playing that out there. the second win. Good job, Creature Deck. Good job, Hydroid Crisis and Thrilled Mystic. Those two cards did, did their job. Because when Phoenix gets countered, I don't get to draw any cards. But when Hydroid Crisis gets countered, I get to draw two cards. I think our opponent just... So... I think the reason why our opponent played the Bedevil on that Lanoir off there, even though, you know, we already had lots of mana, was uh, because they wanted to put the spell into the graveyard to be able to flip the Azkanta the next turn. Uh, they had five cards in their graveyard, so they were Bedeviling my Lanoir off to make it six, so then they could go graveyard flip. Um, that's what they were doing there. Gates and no land. <laughs> Thanks, Cardius. So we are two and one. We get to play at match number four. Five win dream, not dead yet. Five. This isn't isn't nearly isn't necessarily going the best for us right now though.
This is why I'm playing 25 lands. I want to hit want to hit my land drops and play my big things. Earlier we had too, way too many lands. Yeah. Did they miss a land drop also? Guild Summit is just kind of broken. It's kind of broken. I think I'm gonna play around a sweeper. I don't think I'm gonna be very good at like I don't know if I, we can even beat a sweeper anyway, with having like three lands. Like I don't think we're beating a sweeper anyway, so I'm not even gonna play around it. Gotta hope their gates of blazes are at the bottom or whatever. Yeah, the gates deck go so so completely over the top that you can't. You can't be this slow. Like they, they just go so over the top and have millions of cards all the time. Can't be that slow against them. All right, we need Rex Ages. Uh, Frilled Mystic. That's kind of about all I have. We're just gonna have to have a lot faster hand. We can't just like sit there and miss land drops all the time. Um. We're gonna take out Branch Walker. I think that we need to get kind of for like this is gonna be an awful matchup for us just in general. Um, yeah, Nezahal can dodge a wrath. All right, I can go with the Nezahal. Can dodge a it can dodge a wrath. But this is gonna be a pretty bad matchup for us. We're gonna have to get just um, pretty lucky in general. So I'm just gonna take out the Branch Walkers and hope to curve with like these things and everything. Because the branch walker body isn't as useful. Maybe it's just ooze, actually. Let's get Hellkite back in. I'll right, we'll play one branch walker. I don't want like too many seven drops. Which, which elves, Phage? The branch walkers don't always draw me lands. Uh. Without land war elves, we're way too slow. We need, like, the Land War Elves and things to, to draw out the Sweeper, even. Like, we can't... Like, all of our creatures die to Sweepers, so just saying Land War Elf dies to Sweeper... Like, all of our creatures die to a Sweeper. If we just if we don't play Land War Elves and, and Incubation Druids and stuff, then... Our opponent gets to sit back and wait till like, turn 5, turn 6, turn 7 when we play, like, those things and then cast Sweeper. We've had two awful hands this matchup. It's already a bad matchup, but then, like, these awful hands make it just seem... Yeah, like, the matchup isn't as bad as, as this. You know, like, this this kind of hand's not going to beat anybody. You know, it's not going to beat this. Our opponent, it's not going to beat anybody. They're just moving to discard? Oh my gosh, if we actually draw a land and get to Phoenix, maybe we have a chance. Okay, maybe we actually have a chance. The Land War Elves were in a popper uh, promotion. That's really too bad. That is not available anymore. You had to play over the, the holiday break. That's when they were available.
Please don't gate to blaze away my creatures again. Okay. We have a slight chance. It's not a good one, but we have a slight chance. If they play a gate, they get to they can play like an archway angel and a gate colossus this turn. Got to be able to hit him with all these creatures and be able to maybe have Ravager Worm to finish him off. We can't handle another Gates of Blaze. Uh, even now they get free Colossus. That'll be tough. Us being in this game for how bad our hand was, though, is something. You know, we had a five card hand that wasn't any good. And who knows, maybe we draw a couple hell kites. Maybe they don't have any life gain. Never know. Think you can beat me? You're welcome to try. Like a wolf out of the blue. Yeah, three mana, ten ten vigilant trample, and zero mana, eight eight. Kind of bigger than Choose the creatures we're playing. The other one's going bye bye. It's a little bigger than the things that we're doing. Yeah, we've definitely lost. Maybe not definitely lost. Hmm. 
If I attack with these, I can deal two to them. I can sacrifice the Rex Age to do two. Put them down to seven. It's only, I only have nine power. Oh no, no, I have 11 power. No, okay, never mind. I have enough to be able to block a, a ram with everything. Yeah, Ral has uh, four sorceries um, in the graveyard, so they can't kill Druid or Worm. They could kill like a Rex Age or something, though. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. Yeah, the Rex Ages have been awesome for us, but I mean, our opponent still has seven cards in hand. You know, <laughs> it's like we're like even on the battlefield, and our opponent has seven cards in hand and a million mana. Yeah, Gates deck, the Gates decks just destroy mid-range decks like this. Like, they just go so, so, so far over the top. You just can't... You can't, like, outgrind the Gates decks like they, or go bigger at all. Like, they, they're just the biggest of the mid-range decks. Well, our Mold of Five put up a little bit of a fight. I think the the key card in that whole thing was Lava Coil, which, you you know, the Gates decks usually only have a couple Lava Coils. I feel like if they didn't have Lava Coil for the Rekindling Phoenix, we could have probably won that. But they had the Coil. We lost. So going into this, you know... I knew that our deck wasn't going to be necessarily the best, but it wasn't so bad, and it um, it was pretty fun to play. I think there's something here. Uh, didn't get to do too many crazy things with Nikia, but did a little bit. So you're going to be at disadvantage only playing creatures and not playing any spells whatsoever. That doesn't like make the deck necessarily better, but sometimes you want to do something a little different and play only creatures and that's what we did so there we go all right if you're watching this later on on youtube of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching i'll see you for the next video